what up y'all back here with another video make sure to give me that thumbs up smack that subscribe button click on that bell for the notifications When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you where you refer to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. About 25 minutes away from Southwest City, Missouri. Gotta pick up some uh, chicken fat uh, from Simon's uh, Food products, I believe it is. get loaded uh, east and west bay okay yeah i'm gonna be getting loaded with some chicken fat over here to the left nice i'm gonna have to actually go i'm gonna have to go to the back and then i'm gonna have to get turned around there is a prime drive that the prime driver with a Kentworth. That is the first Kentworth truck I've seen. Oh my goodness, geez Louise. 1869, I got your empty. Thank you, man. This is so bumpy back here, geez Louise. Yeah, so we just gotta get turned around so then that way I can go and check in. Oh, you know what I can actually can do here real quick is I can change my um, I need to change my duty status here. On duty yard movement, checking in with customer. Did it change? I hit okay. There we go. Yard movement. All right. Cool. All right. Let's get this bad boy spun around here. All right. Drive back here through all this stuff. <laughs> All right, so I just got done getting on their scale. Let's see if I'm lined up properly here. I might have to go back a no, actually, I might that might be perfect. All right, so this is the I'm on their scale right now. 
I'm already checked in. You know what? I might have to uh Oh man, I'm gonna have to uh I think I'm gonna have to get this thing over a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to move over a little bit. Yep. I'm a little too close. Alright. A little too close to this edge. I'm gonna have to get over guys. Alright. After you get checked in. Whenever you get loaded here in the tanker, you hop on their scale. And while they're loading you, they actually know exactly how, you know, basically how much you weigh. So uh, they're always good with getting you, uh, you know, getting you loaded here. So you just have to line yourself up on the scale. And then once they give you permission, they'll let you know, hey, go ahead and pop your dome on your trailer, which is what I did. So, but I had to move my truck over about four inches to the left. Uh, so that way the top of the dome lined up to where they're loading at. And then once uh, they get me loaded, uh, they'll give me my paperwork. They'll seal the back of the trailer, and then they'll give me an extra seal that will be on my paperwork on the bill of lading, and I have to seal up the top of the trailer. So no biggie. Uh, and I have a feeling that, and it's getting delivered to IAM's, IAM's company in Aurora, Nebraska, and I have a feeling that I'm gonna be sitting for a couple days. <laughs> if that's the case. Whenever I get to Aurora, I'm actually going to, um, whenever I get to Roar, I'm actually going to drop my trailer there and then I'm probably going to go over to the, the Boss Man truck stop in Grand Island, Nebraska and I'll just tell them to give me a shout whenever they have an empty trailer for me. I've pulled that Milky Way 805 trailer before. Looks like he's pulling that 805 right next to me. They're probably going to be loading this trailer next. That's a prime trailer. And it's a little busy today. We're all loaded up. Got the trailer sealed. Just got both my, uh, just got the bills. They gave me one set for me and one set for the customer. I got to stop at a Flying J in Kansas City. And I got to fuel up. Uh, now we're going to finish getting this, uh, finish rolling. Getting this load delivered to IAMS in Aurora, Nebraska. Actually, I'm going to take my damn vest off now. I don't need this damn vest on. No reason to keep this thing on here. A little jiggly jiggly. Fifty-five for featherweight. Twenty-seven fifty-five. I got your featherweight. Oop, little bumpy. I think we're good. I don't think I need to check in with these guys. Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good day now. Have a good day. So I'm going to have a good day because I actually got out of here pretty quickly, which was actually really nice. All right. Not the last time, but the time before, when I was leaving here, for some reason, my navigation took me in that away, and that away. <laughs> was more of a pain in the butt. Although, I will say, there were some pretty epic uh, views and scenery uh, driving up right next to these mountains and big rocks. It was really nice, but uh, it was not so much fun with a loaded tanker. So, but I did take, I did go that way one time. But now I always, when I leave, I always make a left. Get up out of here. Got my trailer delivered uh, late last night got it dropped over there at i am's in aurora nebraska they did have an empty dirty trailer so i dropped my loaded trailer got my bill signed they told me what trailers uh were empty uh they gave me two i didn't find one of them but there was one empty so i hooked up to it i just now got washed out down here at the grease truck wash uh right by aurora nebraska so i'm about to go out here and this is the wash ticket and I asked for two seals. I'm not gonna seal it up right now because it's still wet. Uh, they do not dry the trailers here. I'm gonna go out here and make sure the outlet is open so it vents and the top of the dome is cracked. So let's go out there before we get over to the shipper. Yeah, this truck, this tank wash, truck wash, tank wash, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, uh, they do not dry the trailer. So we gotta let this baby air dry while we're driving. So. We'll take this cap off and we're going to 
we're going to open this up. So yeah, we got the uh, cap off. Actually, I can, put, I can put the cap right here. It's not bouncing around. Valves open, caps off. All right, now I'm going to go to the top of the tray. Uh, I'm gonna go to the top of the tank and make sure to vent the top of the dome so that way it dries out while I'm driving. All right. Y'all see how I did that? Just this back one, tighten it down. It'll lift this up a little bit, so it'll be cracked. And once I get closer to the shipper, I'll stop and uh, we'll seal up the top of the trailer and then we'll seal up the back. It's a little windy today. A little bit windy. Oh man. Oh man, it's a little windy today. Whew. I'll find out where I'm gonna stop. I am going to pick up a load of eggs in Wakefield, Nebraska, and that is getting delivered to Isonova in Verona, Missouri. So <laughs> just got back on the road and going right back to the house or swinging right back through the house. So that's that's uh that's pretty cool. So I'll actually put this up. Uh let me turn my radio down. I'll actually put this up there on the screen. So this is the load here, Isonova Technologies. So 628 miles, load pays $1,613.56. It breaks it all down for you. So I'm gonna be picking up from this place, Michael Foods Corp in Wakefield, Nebraska. And that is getting delivered to Isonova Verona. So let's head over to the, uh, let's head over to the ship, y'all. All right, well, I guess I'll go. Thank you, sir, I appreciate it. There we go. We're rolling through. The, well, the first town that I the course of the road. The first town that I ran through was Aurora, uh, and I already forgot what town I'm on. What town I'm in right now? I already forgot. I saw the sign, the name of the the name of the uh, town when I was pulling in here. I totally already forgot. There was a mom and pop truck stop back there. I could have probably stopped in there to check and see if the, the tank is dry. I'm pretty sure my trailer's dry now. There's actually, uh, there's a Love's in about 45 miles. I'll stop at the Love's and seal up the trailer, seal up the back of the cabinet. Went from 50 to 40 real quick. Oh, now down to 35. I'm in uh, Columbus, Columbus, Nebraska. DQ when I was in DQ. I used to work at Dairy Queen. That was actually one of my first jobs. I actually liked working at Dairy Queen because not ooh, easy, don't jump up in front of me like that. I actually liked working at uh, DQ because not only could I make myself pretty much whatever I wanted to eat, but I could also uh, pretty much eat any of the sweets. I was making a of Colorado. Cheesecake Blizzard, Blueberry uh, Cheesecake Blizzard, Cherry Cheesecake Blizzard, Strawberry well. Cheesecake Have Blizzard. Have a good day and you be safe out there. After three quarters of a mile, turn left. Oh, let me get over in my left lane because I got to turn left. Yeah, so I was actually working at McDonald's and Dairy Queen at the same time and the manager of McDonald's saw me put walking across the street to go start work over at Dairy Queen after I finished up working the morning shift at McDonald's. My Garmin wants me to go right. And it says I'm 83 miles away. And my trucker's path out wants me to go left. It says I'm 87 miles away. So I'm already in the left lane. So it's a little too late for all of that. I should have probably went right. Oh well, it's all good. Oh, my shoe, my shoe came on time. Time of shoes. All right. Let's put this. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That looks all right. That looks fine. Yep. All right. Let's go put this cap on here. We'll close up the valve. 
There we go, valves closed. All right, well, we'll put one of these seals on here, just like so. Ta-da. All right, there's that one. Now we just gotta go up to the top, y'all, and close up this, uh, seal up the lid. Put a seal up here on the top. All right, let's see what it, let's see what she looks like. Man, she's got a couple dribbles in here, but, well, it is what it is. I'm gonna close it up. All right, now we're gonna seal this bad boy up. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if uh, the shipper is gonna say anything, but there was a little bit of water droplets down there in the bottom of the tank, but nothing I could do about it. So that's happened before a few times and shipper didn't say nothing, so we'll see. It didn't happen at this shipper. Don't ever, ever put your butt cheeks on the toilet seat without some Lysol wipes. I'm going here. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I think I kind of want a monster. I might get a coffee. I think I might, huh. I think I might get a coffee. Fingers crossed, and we'll see if they say anything, but and nothing I can do about a little bit of water down there at the bottom, so it is what it is. I did not get a coffee. I did not get any monsters. I'm just gonna make me a little Powerade. Bottle of water, Gatorade Zero, powder pack. And then we just shake it up like this. Now we just let that fizzle. I'm gonna eat a Metrics bar, super cookie crunch. And it's bright right now. All right, let's get over to this shipper. All right, so it actually wants me to turn left on my navigation here. But I've already, <clears throat> I've already been over to this shipper, so I actually have to pull in over here to the right, and I believe I gotta drop my trailer. Now turn left. talk to this yard yard dog truck guy here so he didn't need my wash ticket but I think I gotta wait right here for them to open this base so they can sanitize my truck but as y'all can see he's already taking my trailer to scale it to get the empty weight yeah he's gonna he's gonna scale it empty and then he's taking it across the he's taking it across that way that's where they're gonna load it he's gonna bring it back scale it and then get my paperwork oh I gotta change my duty status on duty yard movement, checking in with customer, uh, and then picking up slash dropping trailer because I just dropped my trailer. The next thing I need that I need to do is I'll actually put this up on the screen for you, but we got to show our arrival call. We're going to the Prime app. We're going to select the load. Oh, I got to accept this load. I forgot to accept it. Okay, <laughs> I totally forgot to accept this load. And I didn't even start filling out my trip sheet. Jesus. Okay, now now we can go into the load. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select arrived, drop trailer. I'm gonna select no, even though I technically did drop my trailer, that's the trailer that I'm gonna be hooking up to and leaving with, it's the same trailer. So I'm gonna select drop trailer, no, I'm gonna send it. And now that shows Prime that I arrived here. So, let's see, he's taking it across the street. It only takes a, takes a minute or two to, you know, fill out the trip sheet, so. Uh, so yeah, now we just, uh, we just wait, but last time I was here, after they had me drop my trailer over here, they told me to pull in front of this North Bay right here, and they're supposed to sanitize my truck tires. That's what they did last time, so I don't know. Maybe they won't sanitize my truck tires this time. I don't know. But yeah, I just pulled into the bay, and then they just like really soaked my tires. All right, you guys. I don't think I don't think anybody's coming out to open this up to sanitize me so uh i'm just gonna move my truck out of the way 
he didn't need my wash ticket and all right so we're just going to move this bad boy i'm going to move this bad boy out of the way i think last time i was here i think i might have waited like an hour and a half before they loaded my trailer i would i would park it right next to this one right here but i don't want to be in anybody's way so all right there we go the yard dog guy just came out to my truck he beat on my door and said uh my tanker was loaded oh there it is right over here he said uh go ahead and get hooked up to it and he is on his way to get my paperwork oh, i kind of slammed into that a little bit didn't i yes i did hey geez louise oh give it a little give it a little tug test it ain't going anywhere all right let's go get hooked up to her Now I gotta get this landing gear. Another load of eggs. Uh, eggs, uh, as far as working over here with Prime, uh, eggs is gonna give you the most surge. You know, you'll kind of feel it rocking you and stuff, like whenever you stop or you take off. Uh, the more that the more that you're uh, pulling takers, you'll get a better feel for you know how how they're kind of surging, and then you, you, you kind of get a feel for it on how you need need to drive it. So you'll get better with that with time. What I don't like about the Garmin Dezel 1010. Jersey, would you fly? Hang on, I gotta fix this. This Garmin is something's like on uh, it's like on a uh, speak talk talk to speak or something like that. I don't know. It's trying to pick up. I'm trying to talk to y'all, and the Garmin is thinking thinking I'm talking to it. And I'm not. But what I wanted to actually say is that what I don't like about the Garmin Dezel 1010 is that so every time as I'm using this and as I'm going to customers I've been to that are on my Truckers Path app, I'm slowly putting them into my Garmin. Now, every time I have to set up my T-Mobile Wi-Fi box, put in the address, and then I got to download uh, the bird's eye view so that way I can get the satellite imagery of it. And uh, it's basically, uh, right now it's currently more work for me. So, but eventually I'll have them all in there. But so far, I'm still gonna give my hands up and my hat's still off to uh, Trucker's Path app. I still prefer to use Trucker's Path app. I'm always gonna keep it, but I'm gonna continue to see how the Garmin does for me. All right, y'all, it is uh, 11.30 at night. I have an hour and four minutes left on my 11 hour clock and this is me trying to find a parking spot <laughs> uh, this late at night now all the truck stops were filled up but I found this cafe up here to my right uh, it said there's truck parking so we are about to go roll up in here and park this bad boy again it's 11 30 at night and I got basically an hour left on my clock. Yep, we're gonna pull. Yep, rock. You have reached your stopover. This is rock. The stopover is rock on pile your cafe. You have reached your stopover. The stopover is on your right. All right, let's go a little slow down here. After see. a quarter of a mile, turn right onto North Eighth Street. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a uh, there's a uh, plenty of parking over here. thinking uh i wonder if i should park it over here by this uh i wonder if i should park it over there by this other truck maybe that's now what i'll do left and then enter the highway interstate 49 us 71 towards interstate 49 south us 71 south um 
Actually, you know what? I think uh, I think I'll just leave a parker right here. I think that should be good. I think. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think that's where we're gonna park for tonight, guys. All right, first thing I do is I'm gonna change my duty status to off duty. Actually, nope, uh, sleeper berth. Put myself in the sleeper berth. All right, so. So I am uh, one hour and 16 minutes away from the receiver, 78 miles. So I'll finish that up in the morning. So I'm gonna close out my uh, navigation and I'm going to set an alarm for 10 hours from now. It's 11.33, so I'm going to set an alarm for 9.33 in the morning. Actually, I'll just put it nine in the morning and then I'll set a second alarm for 9.05. I'm pretty sure I'll get up before my alarm goes off, but that's how I do it. Well, hello and good morning. Yeah, I've just, uh, I just got up about 15 minutes ago. Took my vitamins, brushed my teeth. I got nine minutes uh, and my clock will reset. I actually slept through my whole 10 hour reset almost this time. I should be feeling tired, man. I'm trying to catch up on some sleep. I've been uh, pushing myself to do too much, but it felt good to get, felt good to get that much sleep. You know, a lot of sleep today. Well, actually after my clock resets, I'll be doing my pre-trip inspection on my truck and my trailer, which that usually normally takes 10 to 15 minutes uh, in the mornings. Then we'll be rolling. Uh, we are just uh, right up the street from the receiver right now. Going around this last corner down here, out here in the country in Missouri. change my duty status on duty yard movement uh, checking in with customer picking up slash dropping trailer this is a dropping hook uh, okay I'm done here with the navigation I gotta see <laughs> I already forgot what okay that's the trailer all right so now I gotta go in here and do uh, my arrival call but I know I arrived here drop trailer yes uh, trailer number is gonna be MT 9869 9869 done. Send that off to Prime. Okay, so is there a. Okay, yeah, there is no code here, so I gotta shut my truck off and uh, hit this button. Hello? Yeah, uh, Prime here with a tanker delivery. There you go. Thank you. All right, so here at Isonova, and this is beeping because I don't have my seatbelt, but I'm right here in the customer's yard. So uh, here, oh, it looks like, it looks like there is a little line here. So you know what, I'm gonna go, yeah, because usually around this corner here, where this hopper bottom's at, I'm supposed to pull in and they, sometimes they'll sample me and sometimes they won't sample me. So it just depends. So I'm actually gonna go up here and check in with these guys and see what they want me to do. See if they need to sample or if I could just drop this trailer. All right, it looks like this guy. All right, let me put my seatbelt on so this thing will stop, stop beeping. Uh, it looks like this hopper bottom just moved, so. All right. Uh, let this hopper bottom, uh, Hopper move, see what he's doing. All right. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna pull underneath this right here. Uh, this is where they're gonna get a sample. Now, again, sometimes they will give me a sample, sometimes, or sometimes they will grab a sample, sometimes they won't. So, now, oh my God, it smells so bad. Uh, so we are going to 
pulled up right there. All right, let me see if that's gonna be good enough. I'm not sure, let me check. That's the surge. Yeah, see, see that surge? See the jiggle and the wiggle right there? All right. Let me, uh, so now I just got to go up these stairs. I'm going to ring this buzzer and then they're going to come out and then I'm going to give them uh, my paperwork and I'm going to ask for copies of everything. And then uh, they might get a sample. They might not. And then I'm going to drop this loaded trailer and submit my paperwork and then we're going to keep rolling, y'all. Yeah? All right. So they're on top right now uh, grabbing a sample. And once they are done getting the sample, uh, I already got my bill signed. Then I'm going to be parking her right in between those trailers over there and after i drop them i'll be submitting my paperwork over to prime i don't know if they're gonna have me pick up a load uh right up the street in aurora which is whatever like 10 minutes from here five minutes from here over at afb um if they're gonna have me do something tomorrow then i'll be going home today so i'll find out i want to show you all how tight this spot is that i just backed into there wasn't much room anywhere over this way to back her up so i had to squeeze her right in between this one so it's a pretty tight fit Sometimes you have to squeeze it in some tight spots like this, but but I got it in there, so she's good. And I looked around here at the Eisenhoven Verona. Whenever you deliver a loaded uh, trailer, the uh, Prime always wants you to see if there is an empty, dirty trailer, and then they'll have you bring it to the Springfield tank wash, which is like 55 minutes from here. Uh, I just looked around, and I did not see any um, uh, dirty trailers. And I'll actually put the message I sent over to dispatch uh, up here on the screen. Uh, that's how I communicate with them. So I already let them know there's you know, no dirty trailers here. So I'm submitting my paperwork right now and we'll see what they want me to do next. If I'm picking up in uh, AFB in Aurora or if I'm going home today and then I'm picking up something tomorrow. So <laughs> so I just uh, I just got off the phone with my, uh, with my dispatcher. So they won't have anything for me to grab today out of Aurora. So I'm actually gonna be heading home. So I'll be back on the road tomorrow. So yeah, another day, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Oh, and by the way, people were asking me about this headset. You know, a lot of, you know, a lot of truckers use uh, this headset. This is a Blue Parrot. Where's the damn, where's the damn model number on here? So this is a, uh, a Blue Parrot B550XT. My TNT trainer, uh, whenever I upgraded, or you could call it graduating, upgrading, after I finished my TNT training, my TNT trainer bought me this. So shout out to my boy, Sean, appreciate the headset. Although I need to get another fuzzy tip here. There's a tip that's supposed to go over this microphone to help with the wind, but uh, I got the box at home. I need to put it back on there, but hey man, thank y'all so much, man, for uh, checking out my videos. I definitely appreciate it. And shout out to all the truckers out there away from their families out here working hard, you know, you know trying to earn a living for their families, man. Uh, y'all stay safe out there, man.